You know, we are so critical of our football teams. They are, in essence, a extension of us. They're an extension of who we are as a people, where we come from, and what we represent. And I think that cannot be said any more about a team than the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions, blue-collar, hardworking, overlooked, underappreciated, and haven't been winners in a long time. And I think that they're working really hard to bring that to the city of Detroit. And with that being said, sometimes we forget about the sacrifice that these players make for their body, on their body, to not only give us a product, but also go to war with their brothers. Uh, a, a gladiatorial kind of platform where they go out there and they do a- actual battle uh, with their with their brothers trying to get a win. And Frank Ragnow, who has his own YouTube channel, he has different things that are on the Detroit Lions YouTube page. You guys can check him out. Very down-to-earth, humble young man who lost his father some time ago. And he did a charity event yesterday, and he talked to Dave Briquette of the Free Press. Now, the article that I will link in the description is for subscribers only, so you might be able to read a certain portion of it, and then you'll have to sign up for it. I don't want to have you do that, so I'm going to bring that information to you. But he talked about the injury. Now, we know that Frank Ragnow, a big piece of our offensive line, our center, the literal anchor of our offensive line, and probably one of the only good things that Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia did. Well, actually, yes, it was, yep, Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. Bob Quinn put some solid pieces on the own line. That's like the one thing he did. That was actually, yeah, that was that was Matt Patricia's first pick. His first pick was Frank Ragnar. I remember when we drafted him. I'm like, who is this guy? A center, you know, same old Lions. And I was like, that's why we lose all the time, blah, blah, blah. And this guy has been one of the best pieces on our team, especially the offensive line that protected Matthew Stafford and now Jared Goff and helps Jared Goff have the type of seasons that he have. Jared Goff and will have Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery running behind that line. And that's what makes our line so coveted. A lot of people, top three offensive line, and a lot of people would, would really love to run behind it and play behind it. But Frank Ragnow, in the 2021 season, Okay, he actually tore his planter plate in his left foot, according to this article from the Free Press in week four of the 2021 NFL season. He wind up missing the entire, the entire rest of the season. But here's what he told um, Dave Briquette yesterday about that. He said at his charity skeet shooting event Thursday, He retore his planter plate on the opening drive of last year's week one loss to the Philadelphia Eagles and has no healthy tissue in his left foot. So it would have to be an experimental procedure to get that done. And that's not something the NFL old linemen are in the business of. Frank Ragnow said that tells me that this guy has been playing. He played the final 16 weeks in tremendous pain uncomfortable but he was out there for his team he finished the season so he came out the opening drive of the loss to the Philadelphia Eagles who knows maybe if he was in there we would have won that game and he toughed it out he said you know what I'm going to finish and be there with my brothers I'm going to give the opportunity give the city of Detroit something to to cheer about and this is fantastic absolutely fantastic He wants to play. So it's not that it's completely inoperable. It is pretty inoperable is what he said. And here's what he said about last season and why he wants to make sure that he's available for his team. He said it was tough last season because I just was so mad that it happened again. Like I was over it. I had a great training camp, feeling good, and then the first game of the season happened, so I just had to fight through it. The Lions are being great, and I'll be pretty normal. They're just going to take care of me like I'm an old vet. I guess year six, I'm already an old vet. So the Lions aren't rushing Frank. Frank isn't rushing rushing Frank, and it's possible that eventually he can get this operated on. But he had an injury in 2021. He re-injured basically the same injury in 2022, but he toughed it out and played through the rest of the season. We hear about people playing through injury, 
And that was one of the knocks on DeAndre Swift, that DeAndre Swift couldn't play through injury. I know that's a lot to ask of any any person. You get injured, you stub your toe, or you have to call in sick, right? How many times can you call in sick before you get fired or get reprimanded, right? So these guys, I know that we're very critical of them, and I think it comes with the territory. I'm not going to take away anything from that, but – a lot of times when you strip this stuff down, these guys are playing with some type of in- injury. But it's because they love the game, they love their teammates, and they want to provide. I know that Frank Ragnow, he's been here with Matt Patricia. He knows what it's like to lose. He wants to bring a winner to the city of Detroit. Great young man, does great charity work, loves to fish. Uh, there's a particular episode on his YouTube channel where he took Jerry Goff fishing. It was hilarious. Need to check it out. But... The link to this article will be in the description. Frank Ragnow, a warrior, an absolute warrior. And I think that we have a lot of warriors on our team. We've seen Jerry Goff, Khalif Raymond. Uh, we've seen guys play through injury. And th- Frank Ragnow is a key core piece to our team. And the, the fact that he was willing to sacrifice like that, I couldn't imagine what that feels like. He has to keep defenders wanting to clamp down on Jerry Goff away from him. And I couldn't imagine the pain that he has to endure, uh, whether he gets any type of help or not. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Frank Ragnow with a injury that he deems is inoperable, but it's not really inoperable. Um, it's just something he doesn't want to do right now. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.